Thanks for clicking on this video. Today, we're showing you the Situray Dry EMG sensor. This little device reads muscle activity by detecting electrical signals on your skin, no gel needed. It amplifies those tiny signals and gives you a clean analog output from 0 to 3 volts, centered around 1.5 volts. It's super easy to use with an Arduino and great for checking muscle movement, strength, or fatigue. With dry electrodes, it's reusable, hassle-free, and perfect for DIY projects or human-computer interaction. Just power it with 3.3 to 5.5 volts. Use an ADC with at least 8-bit resolution and 1 kilohertz sampling, and align the electrodes with your muscle. Just a heads up, it's not a medical device, so it's not for diagnosis or treatment. Let's check it out in action. The sensor features non-invasive, painless, and simple operation, making it suitable for applications such as human-computer interaction. While EMG measurements have traditionally been used in medical research, advancements in compact and powerful microcontrollers and ICs have enabled EMG sensors to be integrated into various control systems. Power supply voltage, 3.3 volts to 5.5 volts. Current, at least 20 milliamps. Power, should be low noise and well-regulated DC. The effective frequency range of EMG signals is 20 hertz to 500 hertz. For optimal digitization, use an ADC analog to digital converter with a resolution of at least eight bits and a sampling rate no lower than one kilohertz to preserve as much original signal detail as possible. When using the included metal dry electrode plates, ensure they are aligned with the direction of the target muscle. Hardware setup, Arduino board, EMG signal processing board, dry EMG electrode, dry electrode cable, three pin analog signal cable, software, Arduino IDE, version 1.8.2 or higher, wiring, GND to GND, 5V to 5V, SIG to a zero. For getting the waveform, place the sensor on a muscle you can feel moving in your arm. This test is only possible on a laptop to avoid parasitic signals from 60 or 50 Hertz, depending on your country. Unplug the laptop from the charger, upload the code, open the serial plotter. A clean, stable waveform will appear. The code has been modified to output one or zero depending on a threshold value measured directly from my muscle signal. Avoid touching surfaces with static or parasitic signals as they may distort the readings. This is why the circuit must not use unfiltered 60 or 50 Hertz power from a wall socket. Thanks for watching. Please comment if there's something specific you'd like to learn. Remember to subscribe, activate the bell, and give us a like. See you next time.